Jace's Workshop or Slaughter Dogs? I'm voting for Jace's Workshop. Who am I kidding? I love the Prismatic games. And of course, while we're going through this boring stuff, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Mighty. And if you're a returning viewer, I always appreciate it. So make sure to sub so you catch that daily content. We just hit 450 subs, so we're only 50 away from that big 500 mark. So I really appreciate all the support from everybody. Jace, is it a Piltover game? It's been a while since I've had a Piltover game. It's Wood Ishtal, but we're on Jace's Workshop. I don't need to worry about Wood Ishtal at all. If I'm on Jace's Workshop, I don't think I'm playing Cho. Eh, I guess I'd rather hold Milio. Still. Win? Do I hold Poppy now? Not very likely to hit our Piltover start. I guess I hold Swain? No, I hold a Rally up here. Then I'll give up on the Milio to buy Nefiri, maybe? I just had a Challenger game. I can't do that. Cloak, Ionic Spark, and I don't want to play Demacian, so I give up. I'm going to sell those and buy these. What if... A roll. I could play Wandering Trainer. I was thinking, what if I take Tiniest Titan and then just Prage? Oh no. Uh, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I praged for the hope of Piltover and it just didn't happen. This guy also took Tiniest Titans and was rolling for Piltover. We both are in a bad spot. What is going on? Why are we like this? Just give me a shot with both or neither. At least I get the gold to roll for it. There's one. I just need, I need to find a Vi ASAP. A Vi or an Echo, either way. I'm rolling until I find it at this point. I'm committed. Also, I went from a whale to a minnow. There's our Vi. We did it. It just took a little while. We hit it. It just took a while. The other guy doing it is this guy. Oh, thanks for the sub, Ace Noob. Although I think that sub came in like two days ago. So I'm really surprised that it recorded it tonight because I was talking to him in the YouTube comments. Yeah, I was talking to him in the YouTube comments, but I want a giant cash out here. That's the plan. We have glove. I probably just want a bow. Just take the bow, build last whisper. I was wrong. I had to check. It was a different ace that I was talking to in the YouTube comments. So now we have two aces. This guy's on Jinx too. Oh, he's 100% Zon reroll. This guy didn't reroll to find Piltover. Gave up on it. I committed to it. Now the question is, do I play a real board at all? Like, or when do I start playing a real board? Because I can't take four unit losses every time. I'm losing to most of these people, I think. But it kind of gets close. I guess I can play it like an okay board. Yeah, because I'm losing to any of these three. Look at how cute I am. I'm just a little minnow in this giant bond. I'm just going to go hide behind the Rek'Sai really quick. I can't click there. We got our five loss streak, but we're at like 60 health. Or 70. There's more Piltover. Do I go for the full Piltover? And can this guy come get his stuff off my board? Usually you cash out with Gunners, so I should probably buy Jinx, but I do want the Echo. Oh, that'll help me get the Echo. Almost. Oh, wait, do I, don't, please win. I had to slam a Last Whisper just to make sure. It was close. Yeah, it was a little too close. Is Cho2 too strong? This guy changed into it. Cho2 might be too strong. If I fight this guy, it's definitely too strong. I'm gonna hold the Cho. And then we'll put the echo hidden. Unfortunately, we didn't fight him. Give me the other tiny titans augments now. I'll just take all of them and we'll have a 100 stack TI. Not double trouble, not overwhelming. Oh, wait, it's actually just wellness trust. It heals us more. So each round we're going to be healing for four. I'm really scared that this guy is going to sell. And we're gonna lose or we're gonna beat him if we beat him it's just so bad he's just kind of slamming items so each turn we're gaining at least five extra gold and healing four health this is scary this is the Tarek build he's gonna have the infinite health Tarek the infinite health Tarek is gonna be hard to beat i need to stop taking so much damage i just have to hope it's okay free level yeah i just have to play the full board Because we need to kill at least some of these units. If we don't kill any, we're just we are still just going to die eventually. Nah, we got 5 0 there too. Belios with a sword? That's probably my pick. If I had another Jace, I would go ahead and put it in. But I don't yet. For now we continue the level train. I can drop a D-claw. D-claw, drop a sword. We'll just play the if we win, we win, so be it. This guy went level 7 already. Hopefully he does beat me. 
Yeah, he beats me. Sweet. Get to kill two units? That's fine. We'll go back up to 38. We can pre-level here, swap these out, and move the items here. I'm going to hold it for this turn. Oh, it was the guy that I was fighting that just hit the Nico too. Why is it always me? Let them hit their upgrades after they fight me. Not before. Five out again. Yeah, we got five out again. Go back to 30. We know we're Omega greeting it. Like, there's no way I'm not just Omega greeting here. It checks on. Virulent. That's good for this version. So we're going to try and lose until 4-3. Give me bow and... Oh, perfect. Bow and rod was what I was hoping for. So we can rage blade. We could just IE. IE or gun blade. I like the gun blade. Nice. We keep greeting. Other people are rolling. We refuse. Not until we at least get to the 30 stack. 27 to 19. I think we can take two more losses and be okay. Freaky Friday. I don't think it's Pandora's items. What if? We had a GP. Frellhorde emblem. Piltover emblem. GP goes in. You're now Frellhorde. We buy a Silco pair. Next turn, we probably level roll it down. Level roll it down. Look for like a Sejuani and a couple other things. Do I get the kill on the shin? Yeah, I do. Go back to 13 health. We have to be quick. Belios pair, the 20 pair, a Jinx, an Echo. Give Aatrox this Piltover emblem, but the Decalaw here. Silco two. Ooh, this isn't, I don't think I got enough. Jace two. The glove, I guess I'll throw here. Try and build Nai. Cash me out. Cash me out, baby. Or take a one unit loss. I'm okay with a one unit loss too. The rogue jinx. Yeah, I'm actually very okay with a one unit loss here. Uh, okay, I cashed out. So I cashed out at 35. Heim? Give me this Heim. Oh, that's so lame. I guess I'll take GP pair. We are not gonna be a six built over game. Gold, tactician's crown, mana zane, death blade, swap. Throw in an Echo 2 Vi pair. Before I forget, DB, Rage Blade, Last Whisper. JG. We have the JG Mana Zane. We really need our own two star, though. And then I should swap out Ori, should be Jace for sure. Yeah, Ori should be Jace. It's not enough to kill me. Even if I lose, I did win. Yeah, this Ori should be a Jace. Now we have four Gunner in, so we're playing it right. Echo could come out for another Zon for a Warwick. What's our fourth Zon? Oh, wait, no. I was thinking Echo can come out for something else. Then Echo comes out for Ash, maybe? For the three for Elrond? There's a Sedge, too. So this, I guess we can give... Aatrox a crown. I need to hit a Aphelios too at some point. If I don't hit an Aphelios too, I lose. I'm, I'm so close to taking like, I. this is a one unit loss. Yeah, one unit loss. How do we make this better? Just by upgrading our five stars, I guess. That would have to be it. Ooh, Protector's Vow plus Armor. Protector's Vow, Sunfire, Ash Pair, GP2. We just need a Felios. There he is. Now we should be just good to go. We just need to figure out what are we going for now. Sell these. And then we need our last couple two stars and we're good to go nine. If I roll, it's literally just to hit Ash 2, Vi 2, which feels really bad. Yeah, I don't think I roll. If those are the only two I'm looking for. I should do this though. Give him that gun blade. Because the likelihood of us hitting an Aatrox 2 is just so unlikely that it's not worth it. 
Oh, that was a good ship. Send all of the ships. And that was one of the Windstreakers. I'm slowly going up the rankings because I'm healing. The other Piltover player just hit Jace 3. This guy's 8 Sork now. We're up against the 8 Sork player, right? Yeah, 8 Sork. But he doesn't have very good items. So we have that going for us. He's 8 Sork. Bad items. I am sorry. Goodbye. What do I want? Frontline item or like a Bloodthirster? Sterax would have been fine. I'll just take this. Or yeah, Sterax gauge. I took the other Sterax and now I'm going to put it on my Aatrox and move these items to something else. Didn't I have a remover a second ago? I'm pretty sure I had a remover. Question mark, question mark. I'm guaranteed to hit nine this game now. This guy is really, really worrisome though. Oh, he's two off of J4-3. The issue is other people are playing Sejuani, so I can't go for a Sedg 3 or an Aphelios 3 because other people are playing him too. If I could go for one or the other, I'd be much better of a spot. Uh, and that guy's not out. He for sure hits too, I'm pretty sure. Like he's, all, he's very close to just guaranteed to hit. I think our best bet is actually to go for like a three-star Gangplank if he does hit. He's definitely the hardest one for me to beat out of everybody already, like even before him hitting a three star. Not the greatest ship that time. Second ship was perfect though. Oh no, the other guy's wind streaking now. And he has a GP2. Does that mean I have to go for an Aatrox too? I think that might mean I need to go for an Aatrox. Hodge, Crown Guard, Archangels. I'm gonna go Archangels. If I had another Bruiser, would I try for that? I don't know if I would even care. All right, we need to beat this guy. He also has two-star GP, though. And I didn't get to ult with my... my, uh, Dino. Top three, there's Heim. If I want to replace something, it would be Vi. I think it is supposed to be triple mechanic or triple, uh, Reparo. Cassante, too? Oh, my ship didn't... or my guy didn't get here. That's bad. That was a bad mistake. Mistakes were made. It might be okay. It's not okay. Yeah, it was not okay, in fact. Did he beat the other guy? He did. It's supposed to be triple Reparo. One, Scion two. Oh, there's Heim two. I need to put this Frel Horde emblem also here. Get my stun back. I didn't even realize that it, it was on my bench. Yeah, that was bad on me. Very bad on me. Sorry, we still win. Yes! And we're going for our own Aphelios 3. None of the four costs he needs. There is a Cassante. It's supposed to just be TG. We can TG our Heim. Another Reparo. TG Heim. Another Cassante. And a Reparo. I do want this Reparo. He's so close on multiple. I should move my Aphelios and GP. Our board is super high cap now, though. Super, super high cap. Back on, yeah, backline ship, you're gonna lose to every time. And the really good news is if he does hit, we can sell everything to then try and hit ourselves. Is that him hitting? That was him hitting. It's another Reparo. He just hit a zero three. He hit a zero three. That's gonna give us like one or two turns, maybe. We might be able to beat a 0-3. I doubt it, but it's possible. We do beat a 0-3? This is not okay. That's not okay. We beat a 0-3 and it wasn't close. Yeah, that's not allowed. I guess now he has to go for the Fiora 3. Also, why am I not a tiny fry anymore? Gold, more gold. Stone plate, blue buff. Another Cassante. All right, well, we get to fight again. See if he beats me this time. If we see if he beats me this time. If he beats me this time, then we have to probably sell to try and hit Cassante 3. He did move around some. But I don't know if targeting there is his best option. Since it's just going to revive. Oh, uh, yeah, it's the stun that gets him. Yeah, the stun is what gets him. The Frel Horde's done. I feel so bad beating this guy though. He had three stars here, had 90 health for 90% of the game. 
But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know down below.